the U.S. military attacked targets in Yemen again. More strikes in retaliation for attacks by militants known as the Houthis on commercial and military ships in the Red Sea. The Houthis say they are attacking the ships to support Gaza by blocking supplies from reaching Israel. The Biden administration on Wednesday formally redesignated the Houthis as a terrorist organization. They've been added to the list under President Trump, taken off, and are now back on. The designation taking effect in a month. But it's not just the Houthis and the Red Sea. War is spreading across the Middle East, with the U.S. at the center of it. The United States is now in an increasingly open and expanding conflict with what is known as the Axis of Resistance, a network of militant groups in six countries and territories. All are backed by Iran, but they operate with a degree of autonomy. The war escalated when Hamas attacked Israel in October, and Israel responded with devastating force, backed by the United States politically and with weapons. Collectively, the Iranian-led Axis is formidable. Hezbollah in Lebanon is arguably the most powerful non-state military in the world, with tens of thousands of rockets and battle-tested fighters. Hamas has effective militants too, and the notoriety of the Palestinian cause. Iranian-backed militias in Syria and Iraq are close to oil fields and American military bases, which they've been attacking and been attacked from consistently since October. And in Yemen, the Houthis, they call themselves Ansarullah, have the advantage of location right on the Red Sea. I spoke to one of the group's top leaders. The Biden administration has designated your group, the Houthis, as a terrorist organization. What is your reaction to that? We would say to Biden, this label should be given to Netanyahu, he says. Is there now a regional war underway between the United States and Iranian-backed groups, including Europe? Yes, as we said, America announced the war against us, he says. Iran is projecting its power in other ways as well. Iran carried out a strike in Baluchistan, which is a region in Pakistan, a region where many militant groups operate, including anti-Iranian groups. Pakistan responded with a strike against Iran. You know things are bad in the region when even the Taliban are calling for calm. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.